This is a training session on the 17 indisputable laws of teamwork. During the 1990s, what I have found to happen is that leadership became a very prominent subject. If you went to the business community, they wanted to learn about leadership. If you went into the government community, they wanted to learn about leadership. If you went into the church community, they wanted to learn about leadership. If you went into uh, any community, leadership became kind of the big deal. And in the 90s, I wrote the subject. If you went to the business community, they wanted to learn about leadership. If you went into the government, wrote several books on the subject of leadership. In 1993, I wrote a book called Developing the Leader Within You, Helping People Develop Themselves as Leaders. As a complimentary book, a year later, I wrote a book called Developing the Leaders Around You, kind of helping a leader develop leaders around him or her. And then in 1997, I wrote a book that was kind of a soft leadership book called Becoming a Person of Influence. Again, how to have influence with people, basically how to become a better leader with people. In 1998, I wrote a book that has become very popular, The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. This has been used major in the business community, government community, the church community. And this was a book that helped people understand that there were certain laws that if they learned those laws, if they obeyed and followed those laws, they would become very effective as a leader. And I followed the 21 irrefutable laws of leadership with a book entitled The 21 Indispensable Qualities. I talked about what are the qualities that need to be inside a person to be the leader that they really want to become. Then I follow that up with a uh, kind of a Christian religious leadership book called The 21 Most Powerful Minutes in a Leader's Day, where I took the 21 laws and applied it uh, to uh, uh, biblical characters so that people could, again, identify the laws with people who really did a good job with them. Okay. W one thing that I found very interesting as I taught this, this decade of leadership is that as, as, as leaders grew, as leaders learned, as leaders matured, as leaders developed, I found that, that they began to ask themselves not only how can I lead better or how can I develop people around me to lead better, but they began to talk about teamwork because they found that nobody is a leader in every area. For example, in the 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, uh, most of the audience here, have you, how, many of you have, how many of you have the 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership? Oh, this is very good. Now, 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 keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. The people that have their hands up now in this room are truly the great leaders in this room. <laughs> now, you, you noticed, didn't you? You noticed I did not ask how many have read the 21 years. <laughs> that, that's way too big of a risk. I'm not going there. I wouldn't touch that with a 10-foot pole. Okay, okay. Now, Anybody that has read the 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, the first thing they come to the realization is that they're not good in all 21 laws. Is that not true? Let me just ask you, how many of you probably fell a little short in at least two or three of the 21 irrefutable laws? Okay, thank you very much. Now, the reason I ask that question, the reason there's such laughter in the audience is because anybody that takes the 21 irrefutable laws of leadership book and begins to dissect and learn those laws understands quickly that in some laws they excel and in some laws they do not. Now, that's where teamwork comes in. You see, what I have found is that the moment we realize that we do not do well in all of the leadership laws, the next question is then, who does well in a leadership law that I don't do well? And all of a sudden, there begins to be what I would call this urgency to develop a team. Does that make sense? Because teamwork matures, uh, teamwork takes leadership and allows it to be what it really needs to become. Now, this is going to show my age, but there was an old commercial, oh, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago on Bo Jackson who played two sports. Uh, remember, he played f uh, football and baseball, and it was kind of a, a, a an, I think it was a Nike commercial, kind of a Bo Nose deal, and, and basically, how many of you remember the Bo Nose? Okay, oh, well, must have you as old as I am, okay. And, <laughs> well, well, you know the story of, of how supposedly it was kind of a tongue-in-cheek thing that Bo knows everything, and, and you know, and, and so Wayne Gretzky says, Bo knows hockey, and, 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 and you know, obviously, the the obvious conclusion of the commercial was even Bo Jackson doesn't know everything. And the conclusion that any person that studies leadership will come up to if they really understand leadership is that it's obvious that you aren't a good leader in every area. Therefore, 
the need for teamwork. And that's what this training series is all about. Now, I need to do one more thing, and then we're going to teach the first law of teamwork. Here's what I need you to understand. If I were sitting where you are, and I would be taking the notes that you're taking, I would be asking myself the question, what makes a teamwork law truly a law? I mean, why don't you say, John, this is a teamwork thought, or this is a teamwork principle, or this is a teamwork idea? Well, I use the same grid that I use for the 21 irrefutable laws of leadership for the 17 indisputable laws of teamwork. The very same grid, because I have to, as I teach teamwork to you, it's my desire to give you a solid foundation that you can literally lean on and go to the bank on and build your teamwork off of. So, let's look at the qualifying test of becoming teamwork laws. There are four of them. Number one, they're not based on culture, gender, or age. Very simply stated, they're not limited to a gender, they're not limited to an age, they're not limited to a culture. In fact, we teach uh, teamwork, we teach leadership internationally through our equipping organization, the Enjoy Group. And what I have found is the laws of leadership, they work in every country. The laws of teamwork, they're going to work in every country. Why? Because they're not limited. That's what makes it a law. Number two, they relate and apply to all communities. They, reply, they, they apply to the business community. They apply to the government community. They apply to the religious community. They apply to the academic community. In other words, these teamwork laws will work anywhere. As you view this, as you view this video and as you study teamwork, no matter what your situation, these laws will work in it. Number three, they are recognized by other teammates as teamwork laws. In other words, very simply, we just sit down with players on teams and we ask them very, very uh, pointedly, are these teamwork laws working? Is this, this, is, is this truly a law? Is this something you can really go to the bank on? And finally, number four, they stand the test of time. Uh, in other words, they're not uh, dated, uh, they're not faddish, they're not in now, and five years from now they'll be out. These teamwork laws worked in the 1900s, they're working now in the 2000s, they'll work in the 2100s. They, they are not limited to time. Let me make four observations about the laws that you're about to learn concerning teamwork. Number one, these laws can be learned. You can learn these laws. The reason I know that is for many years now I've been training teams. For many years, I've been developing team members. I could put a name behind every teamwork law that you're going to study. I promise you, you can learn these laws. Now, I, I want you to just look at your neighbor, and I want you to say to him right now, even you can learn these laws. <laughs> hey, doesn't that give you great hope, huh? I mean, think about it for a moment. That person you brought here today that you were not sure you could ever make anything out of. I mean, you even paid their way. You bought the ticket because you thought, you kept asking yourself, is there any hope? That person you're seated beside right now that you perhaps up to this moment thought there was no hope. I've got great news for you. Even they can learn these laws. Makes you feel good, doesn't it? It also makes you wonder, why did they buy that ticket for me? <laughs> Second observation, very simply, these laws stand alone. I'm going to teach you 17 laws of teamwork today. I promise you they stand alone. What do I mean by that? Very simply, you don't need to learn num law number one to go to law number two, to go to law number three, to go to law number four. They stand alone. You may not do good on one, but you do very good on two. In other words, they don't have to have any sequence. They aren't to be built upon. Number three, these laws carry consequences. Simply stated, if you do well on these laws, you're going to develop a good team. If you do poorly on these laws, you're not going to have a good team. You're going to rise and fall on how well you're able to learn and implement these teamwork laws with your team. And the final observation, these laws are the foundation of teamwork. These are the laws that you build your team on. Let me give you one suggestion before I teach law number one. This is what I call a training suggestion for you. 
If I were you and I just finished watching the introductory part of this training series, what I would do is I would ask myself, how can I best be a team member and how can I best develop team members around me? And I'm going to suggest that you do four things that will be greatly helpful in developing yourself as a team member or developing your team. Number one, read the book, The 17 Indisputable Laws of Teamwork. Start there. Read the book. After you have read The 17 Indisputable Laws of Teamwork, the second thing I would encourage you to do is watch these training videos. And I would encourage you to watch uh, with your team one video a week. Each law is going to be 15 to 20 minutes in length. Very simply stated, what I want you to do is every week sit down with your team, watch one of the laws. Now, number three, reread the law that you just watched on the video. Let me explain. As you have now watched me teach it on video, go back to that law and you have probably seven days before you go to the next video, the next law, the next training session. Take those seven days and work that law in your life. Ask yourself questions like, how well do I implement this law of teamwork? Ask yourself the question, how well do the people around me implement this law of teamwork? In other words, give yourself seven days to practice the law that you just watched. And then finally, number four, apply this law not only to your life, but teach it to someone else. Now, you're watching the videos perhaps as a team. Maybe you have a business that you're uh, in together or whatever. You're watching as a team. But what I want to encourage you is take this law and go to somebody who's never seen the law or heard the law and teach them what you're learning and practice what you're doing. Okay, I know you're ready. I'm ready. Let's go to law number one of the 17 indisputable laws of teamwork. 